Okay, now we continue for our last uh, circuit which is adder, subtractor, circuit. Okay, so four bit parallel adder and subtractor circuits uh, is actually uh, quite uh, similar, almost identical. So we, we, we can combine these two uh, circuit okay, uh, to form another circuit that we call adder, subtractor, circuit. Okay, this adder, subtractor, circuit, we can perform both operations. Okay, we can perform addition and also we can perform subtraction. Okay, so for 4 bit adder, only for addition. Okay, only for additions. Okay, and a subtractor, only for subtraction. Okay, but uh, for adder, subtractor, okay, we can perform both operations. Okay, we can perform both operations. So how uh, this circuit can can choose or can perform uh, either addition or subtraction. So this circuit has uh, additional input okay, that we call a control. Yeah. So this value of control, we have two values, okay, either 0 or 1. Yeah. So if the control input is equal to 0, so the circuit will perform the addition. Okay, it comes from this uh, process, okay, which is the C in is equal to 0. And then if the control input is equal to 1, okay, so the circuit will perform subsection, okay, comes from this process. Okay, so actually both operations, uh, addition and subtraction, okay, uh, is actually based on these two formats. Yeah, so if you refer to this format, first is addition. So this is the process of additions. If you remember that we learned uh, the first part of uh, binary additions. Yeah, so this is the format for 4 bit. Okay, so you have uh, 4 bit uh, for A and also B. And then each column is actually representing uh, for first uh, how many full adder that you need okay, in your uh, operation so because you use uh, four bits that's why you need to have full four full adder okay? and then for addition okay, for the first column this is our first column okay uh, first okay for our first column uh, so supposedly uh, we have only two inputs okay we have only two input but uh, because we want to use all full adder so that's why when we use uh, full adder for the first uh, column, you need to have another input, which is the C in, right? Because full adder, you have three inputs, C in, A and B. Okay? So, you need to add C in, okay, on top of your A and also B. Okay? And when you add your C in, you need to enter or input a value. Okay? So, in this case, uh, your C in must be equal to zero. Okay, why equal to zero? Because, because the first the original process of addition, there is no value at all okay, on top of A1 and B1. But because we want to use the full adder, so uh, that's why uh, we need to have uh, C in. Yeah, so, uh, and uh, we don't want to change the value of A1 and B1. That's why we just connected your C in with 0. Yeah. And uh, for the next column, of course, you need to have uh, three inputs. Okay, C in, A, B. Yeah, and another uh, column also you need to have three inputs and then if you refer to your subtraction so below is actually the subtraction operation okay. so you have four col uh, four columns also okay, because we have four bits uh, this is the first column okay. so this is the first column uh, so this is your first okay. so your first column okay, based on your first column you need to uh, have uh, three inputs okay, which is your A1 B1 which is B bar and then you have another input which is 1 okay? which is 1 so it's quite different with your addition okay? so that's why based on this sentence okay, if the control input is 1 so control input is 1 is actually referring to this input which is 1 so when your control input is 1 or when your C in value is 1 for the first column or the first full address, that's why the operation of this circuit, okay, we can perform the operation of subtraction. Yeah. So the first value. So that's why uh, when we construct the adder subtractor circuit, okay, uh, you have control input and then this control input will be connected okay, to the first full adder as your C in because the C in value for the first value will be 
uh, determine whether your circuit is actually to perform the addition or subtraction. Okay, and if you refer to this uh, circuit, okay, so we have a box here, okay, with uh, this uh, symbol, okay, question marks, okay, meaning that uh, what kind of gates that you need to put here okay, to make sure that uh, this circuit can perform addition or subtraction. For previous circuit, which is subtractor, you you put not gate, right? But now you cannot put not gate because if you put not gate, it only representing the process of subtraction, okay? Subtraction. But now we want this circuit to perform both operations, okay? To perform both operations, okay? So the value of control also must be connected, okay, to this gate. Okay, so how we can determine this gate? So this gate is actually based on this table. Okay, this true table. So you have two operation. Okay, add and subtract. And you have two value of control. Okay, which is the value of zero and the value of one. Okay, and then y, y is also the value of p. Okay, yeah. uh, if you refer to this format, okay, this one, add and subtract. A for both operation is actually the same value, which is you don't have to change A. But B, if you refer B for addition, there is no changes for B. So just B. But for subtraction, you need to do something to your B, which is you need to complement B. Okay, you need to complement B. So for addition, B is just B, but for subtraction, B is actually B bar. Okay. Uh, B is actually B bar because B uh, is a negative B, right? Subtraction. Yeah. So that's why in this case, if you refer to this pro uh, value in truth table, Y or the value of B, so you have two, two different value. If you want to perform addition, B is just B. Okay, B is B. Nothing happened to your B. But for subtract, what happened to B? B, you must complement. Okay, you must complement with B. So from this truth table, okay, you can write the equations. Okay, you can write the equation. Okay, uh, this is actually the equation of uh, SOP. Okay, SOP. So you must remember the SOP. Uh, so SOP is actually you need to uh, end the complemented or uncomplemented value. Okay? So y is equals to a b. Okay, and with C bar. Okay. But why B and with C bar? Because the first value, okay, this one, B and with C bar okay, is actually referring to the first one. Okay, addition. Okay, because B is B. Okay, and then the value of control is zero. So if you remember the SOP, if your variable is zero, you need to complement. Okay, because when you end for both value, you must have the value of 1, right? Uh, SOP, you must remember the SOP. Okay, so B and C bar. Okay, plus with B bar and C. Uh, so for the second product term, it's actually referring to the subtraction. Okay, it's referring to the subtraction. Okay, so B bar, okay, end with C. Okay, so you don't have to change your C because C is actually 1. Okay, you just only to uh, change uh, C when your C value is equal to uh, 0. Okay, so from these two product term, okay, so you can be uh, simplified or summarized, you will get B X or with C. Okay, why B is X or with C or B X or with control? Because uh, these two okay so this is actually one equals to b c bar plus b bar and c so this is actually following the uh, follow the format of s or okay? so that's why you will get y equals to b x or with c or in this case c is actually referring to the control so you now you uh, get the gate, 
Okay, what kind of gate okay, that you need to put in this box? Okay, that have question marks. Yeah. So based on this uh, truth table, uh, you see you derive, derive the equation. So you'll get your gate is actually x or gate. Yeah. So you can put in your add subtract the circuit. Uh, yeah. So this is how you draw add subtract the circuit. Okay. You just uh, put x or gate. Okay. Uh, that uh, must be connected to each full adder and then as all of course you need to have two inputs okay one input must be connected to each b okay and, then, and another input must be connected to the control okay second input must be connected to the control okay. so when you perform the operation uh, which is uh, the first value that you need to enter is actually the value of your control so this circuit you want to perform addition or subtraction if you want to perform the addition so your control value must be input by the value of zero okay so all a line that connected to this control line will carry value zero okay including this first c int right so this is how you draw the adder subtract the circuit okay so now you have three circuits Okay, in arithmetic, you have uh, parallel adder, okay, purposely for addition only, and then you have subtract the circuit only for subtraction, and you have adder subtract the circuit, which is this circuit for addition and subtraction. Okay, you can use this circuit to perform both operations, okay, by uh, input different value to your control okay now uh, either to perform addition or subtraction uh, so uh, i want you to remember all circuits okay how you can derive sorry how you can draw uh, all three circuits either the uh, the parallel adder yeah or the subtractor circuit and also for the last one is adder subtractor circuit yeah. uh, so this is the explanation so when the C in or the control is 1, so your circuit, you perform the subtraction. But when the control value is equal to 0, so this circuit, we perform the uh, addition. Yeah, so you have two values that we control the operation of this circuit. Okay, also, uh, next, uh, I will show you the example how we can use both circuits, okay, uh, subtract the circuits and add the subtractor circuit to perform the operations okay subtractor purposely for subtraction add the subtractor i will show both operation either to use for addition or for subtractions okay so that's all for topic five yeah so i hope uh, you can get uh, the idea and you can uh, understand all the subtopic that uh, we have learned okay in this uh, chapter 5 okay starting with the binary addition uh, sign number two complement number two complement arithmetic uh, circuit so we have three circuit start with a uh, four bit parallel adder circuit and it goes with the uh, four bit subtractor circuit and our last circuit is a uh, four bit adder subtractor circuit okay. so that's all for our chapter 5 Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.